Here at Power Test, we make your testing easy with a complete line of chassis dynos, test stands, and testing equipment. Along with that, we're offering a video series of tech tips to help out with quarterly maintenance. This tech tip focuses on our Eddy Current chassis dyno. Paul Hakala, one of our field service technicians, will give you a brief overview of some of the quarterly maintenance tips you can use to make your testing easier. Hi, my name is Paul. I'm one of your field service technicians here at Power Test. Today we're going to be talking to you about the proper preventive maintenance of one of your CF22 chassis dynos. Notice on the chassis dyno we have no deck plating on it. This is not how it's going to be installed in your pit. Once we get it delivered to your site, this is typically how it looks. Once we put it in the pit, you'll have deck plating put over your absorbers. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is your monthly preventive maintenance. Preventive maintenance is very important. Uh, it's one of the things that's going to help with the longevity of your equipment. Um, the first step you're going to do is on your first month of preventive maintenance, you're going to verify the roll bearings and see, make sure that you have no cracks or broken seals around the outside. As long as you don't see any lubrication coming out, you should be fine. The lubrication is applied at the junction box in the middle of the chassis dyno. Simply apply uh, number 615 Valvoline, Valvoline Red uh, Grease or equivalent and you're basically going to apply one half ounce per terminal and that's going to be monthly. The third thing you want to check on your monthly preventive maintenance is your air supply. Verify that you have a proper lubricated 90 PSI regulated air supply to your chassis dyno and that's going to be used to apply your air brakes. The air brakes are not used to stop the rollers and absorbers but simply to allow you to easily get on and off of the chassis dyno. After you do your monthlies for five months in a row you're going to go up to your six month preventive maintenance. Six month preventive maintenance includes all your monthly plus the inclusion of verifying your belt. Your belt is centrally located in your chassis dyno at least every six months, verify that your belt is in good operating order. It has, should have some bounce to it, but verify that there's no barbs sticking out of it, no stray wires, no cracks, or broken material. Second, you're gonna verify your speed pickup gap. Speed pickup gap can be verified off of your owner's manual. I hope Paul's tips have helped you understand how easy our quarterly maintenance can be. Additionally, you'll want to address the calibration of your chassis dyno, and that'll take about a half hour every six months or so. We've done a previous video in this series, and you can see that for more information. Finally, I'd like to talk about total cost of ownership for our Eddy dynos versus traditional water break dynos. Using traditional water break dynos, whether using a cooling system or municipal water, can be extremely expensive by the time you calculate your maintenance, replacement of parts, and parts that wear out. Our Eddy current dynos will only run about a couple hundred dollars all in per year and require very little maintenance as you saw in the tech tips. Also, our frames and rollers carry lifetime warranties so you don't really have anything to worry about. I hope you've enjoyed these tech tips and if you have any additional questions feel free to contact us at PowerTest at any time. Thanks and make it a great day.